The coronavirus disease, commonly known as COVID-19, affected millions of lives around the world. The ADRA network, which is present in 118 countries across the globe, immediately responded to the pandemic during its outbreak in 2020. The ADRA network established a COVID-19 task force to combat the virus. It implemented 422 projects in 96 countries to serve 20 million people who were affected. Sri Lanka is one of the countries that was severely affected by the pandemic. In response to COVID-19, ADRA carried out several initiatives to support most vulnerable communities, the health sector and frontliners. ADRA continues to fight the pandemic in Sri Lanka through the Building Resilience and Vaccine Awareness Project, also known as the BRAVE Project. Through this project, ADRA supports the efforts of the health sector to mitigate the virus and raise awareness regarding the importance of COVID-19 vaccination among people. Hello everyone, good day to you. Thank you for joining us for the second episode of the BRAVE Roundup. This is an initiative by ADRA Network under the BRAVE Project. Today we are here to discuss the importance of the vaccine and also how it is manufactured. Uh, we have with us today Dr. Gobit Ratnasingham, who is the COVID-19 coordinator of the Nigambo District General Hospital. Hello, Doctor. Welcome to our project here today. And we thank you for taking time off to be part of this uh, great initiative. Uh, I would like to ask you how you are. Yeah, I'm fine. So thank you for the having me here yeah. for this uh, COVID-related uh, interview. Uh, yeah. And uh, shall we dive into the program? Yeah, sure. We'll go ahead. Yeah. OK. So I would like to ask you the importance of this vaccine. Why do you think it's the best method for um, to, to eradicate the virus? Yes, you know that uh, we, the, because we are the vaccine, we're going to talk about the vaccine not only for this COVID, uh, from the beginning for the not only with the other disease also, it has proven to, uh, the, uh, to prevent the before entering the diseases. So likewise, the COVID vaccine also same happened. So we can get this uh, vaccine prior getting the infection and we can get the protection uh, to prevent the vaccine okay. in the infection. Right. How are the vaccines manufactured? Yes, uh, because there are uh, several methods are there. So the basically like, uh, so we have that, uh, uh, we have the some, uh, maybe the same particle or particle, or maybe the organism origin mm -hmm. uh, in the different format into the vaccine uh, production then we will get into the uh, that uh, injection or whatever the, the form into the human body then we will uh, the the mechanism is uh, develop the or trigger the immunity to the uh, the particular organism or the virus so likewise the covid also same covid we know is one of the virus so that uh, we have the uh, three the, around four uh, type of uh, methods we can use it because such maybe we have the inactivated or weakened virus, mm. maybe the part of the virus or pro uh, the proteins, maybe genetically modified like a, uh, the mRNA, the messenger RNA things and all. Uh, maybe we had some vector, vector means we use the same uh, kind of uh, vector to use it into the viral, mm. into that. Mm. So this is a basic mechanism, but any anyway, whatever the, the background is like, so we are introducing the uh, the uh, virus like a particle into the vi vaccine then we send to the body to produce the uh, immunity that's the basic yeah what are the standards doctor used for this uh, manufacture of the virus yes of the sorry the vaccine yes, yes. Uh, there's a uh, everyone's uh, thinking about so how we can all of a sudden we are developing the vaccine mm -hmm. yes so whenever they produce the vaccine there are some standards has to maintain mm -hmm. for the safety standard procedures and the preclinicals actually before doing the i'm sorry uh, doctor what did you say the pre preclinicals actually before going to the patient testing and all okay. they would test before that in the laboratories mm -hmm. in the maybe in the some uh, the animals so maybe whatever the, uh, the in the laboratory setup mm -hmm. then come to the uh, clinical uh, clinical trial mm -hmm. 
everything pass if so safety efficacy everything pass only it will go for the registration even for the registration also they will look up very particularly even the each and every step so after that only it comes you all know that i can uh, further i can say some yes uh, please do elaborate yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know at, at the moment we have got more than 197 companies are try to produce the vaccine okay from that uh, so 16, that's worldwide worldwide yeah okay. right Okay. And around 16 are almost have produced the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Out of that, only 9 cases up to the January, the WHO has given for the emergency licensing. Mm -hmm. So that's a long process. You can see from that 200, around 200, it's come to the 9 on mm -hmm. end of that. Mm -hmm. Even from that, in Sri Lanka, we got only 5 from that. Mm -hmm. So this is a standard procedure is going up. Yeah. So doctor, is there like a standard, uh, like a, a body, is it the World Health Organization or is there like a standard mm -hmm. body that monitors, okay, these, these are the standards that are given? How, yes, that's a good question. It? Yes. Yeah. Even for the every country who are producing, they have the standard. Okay. But from that, if you want to, like in America, one of the companies is producing, if you go into for the another country, so we have to go in for the some standard. Mm -hmm. So in between, overall bodies, uh, that WHO we will uh, go through the each and every steps through that and they will give us okay this can be use it mm -hmm. so overall the WHO is not a licensing body they are giving the authorization to you can use it but anyway the licensing body has in the each country as within the producer like in America FDA like that in Sri Lanka also we have the uh, that body to uh, regulate that mm -hmm. and why are there so many different kinds of vaccines doctor and can you just just to uh, continue with the previous uh, question i just want to ask uh, what are the main countries that are producing the vaccines yes uh, it's a continuous the previous question as well mm -hmm. i said there are a four type we can produce yes. china has produced most of the vaccine even as well next it come to the usa as well in between four and 14 india as well mm -hmm. So the each and every had different vaccine like uh, so as we take about the our vaccine in Sri Lanka we have used it. First we got the AstraZeneca, actually AstraZeneca is the European based and uh, but anyway we got the one in from the COVID from India. So the, they have the vector based one actually I said uh, they have taken uh, same kind of uh, organism actually that uh, as a COVID like a, a COVID virus. Mm -hmm. So some another virus called adenovirus. Mm -hmm. They have uh, taken the same virus and introduced the same technology into that virus and take it uh, produce that AstraZeneca. Mm -hmm. Likewise and uh, then the Pfizer we got talk about the, in the America and all the Pfizer. They have the some their RNA that genetically modified messenger cells into that uh, uh, vaccine and all. Mm -hmm. Likewise, that uh, most of the Sri Lankan got the Sinopharm from China. That was uh, from the again with this particle or weakened mm -hmm. virus. Mm -hmm. So these are the different by they are with the convenient with the laboratory setting and they are producing. Mm -hmm. But all of uh, in the end of products, we are getting the uh, immunity boost through the uh, this vaccine. Also, doctor, you answered my uh, next question, which is why are there different kinds of vaccines? Of the, mm -hmm. the end of the process, the virus are, the vaccines are producing the same amount of like uh, immunity to the body, but anyway, their mechanism is the different. Uh, that is the different thing, but anyway, efficacy are uh, the something different between the each and uh, every vaccines and all. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, it will produce the immunity boost. That's all. Okay, and uh, there is this. I don't know if it's a myth, but there is a belief that Pfizer is the best. So. Is this true or <laughs> what yeah, do you think? From the question, I <laughs> yeah. can say uh, we are big uh, talk, but anyway, I will say the the whole vaccines are same. Uh, it will give the same efficacy in the little bit uh, 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 verifying from 85 to 90 or something like. But anyway, we can say that uh, Pfizer is the uh, best one. But the people tend to say there is a two, three uh, uh, the reason. Maybe. Uh, this this virus has some uh, different type of they had in uh, as I earlier said even the messenger type. Yeah. We may have some more memory on the body, mm -hmm. and so maybe the efficacy wise even the compared to other vaccine, no, this was the same. And uh, other uh, the non-related uh, reason is uh, most of the people are thinking to travel to abroad and all. So they will mm -hmm. say most of the European and Africa uh, so American countries are approved for that vaccine. Mm -hmm. Because of that, all the thing is, or oh, maybe this is the uh, good vaccine. So, uh, end of the day, uh, so we talk, the old vaccines are same. Mm -hmm. So, we can get any vaccine to get the uh, immunity to our body to uh, save from the, the lady virus. Okay. So, according to your views, doctor, what do you think? Uh, I mean, you have come across so many COVID patients. 
uh, according to your views, what do you think would be like the best for them? Yeah, actually the best for them, uh, the, the for us Sri Lanka. Yeah, Sri Lanka maybe? actually we got for initially said the AstraZeneca, we mm -hmm. got it initially. Mm -hmm. In between the lot of uh, the most uh, population covered by the Sinopharm. Then we got the even the Pfizer as well, even the Mirona and uh, that uh, Sputnik and all the all five we use it. Local uh, study has shown the bigger, uh, much higher immunity for this uh, because of Sinopha. Sinopha. Yeah, but uh, later on we have found more than the 60 years of age mm -hmm. because uh, we got the most of the patient, even the bad getting the uh, serious illness with uh, maybe death rather than the uh, elder patients. Mm -hmm. So the uh, more than 60 uh, um, uh, the age of the elders. Mm -hmm had as a, after six months he had a waning of this uh, immunity. So that's why we are worried on that. Mm. So that's means the one of the reasons to put on the even for the booster as well. So is there anything else doctor you want to add, you want to say to the audience uh, as to the importance of uh, um, getting the vaccine? Yes, in future? Uh, yeah, definitely. Maybe there are people who you know for various reasons they don't want uh, to get the vaccine. Maybe you can convince them and give them the assurance that the vaccine is is good right? yes uh, the, even though this is not only for the covid again mm. so the the vaccines have proven for this one of the most uh, preventive measures for the any diseases mm -hmm. likewise is covid also same mm. and uh, we have seen the nowadays the the trend of getting the vaccines are less are gradually going down mm. so we should go for the uh, vaccination because, because it has proven in sri lanka has uh, the vaccine has worked. Mm. So, without delay, you got to go for the primary vaccine first and two, mm. even if you are not delay. Mm. Uh, but anyway, you definitely get the booster. Because okay. And what's the age limit, uh, doctor? Like, what's the minimum age? Yeah. But anyway, initially they started 18, but anyway, we started from the 12. Mm -hmm. But in the other countries, they started from even 5. Oh, okay. Right. So, I won't take too much of your time, doctor. I know you have a very busy schedule. Mm. And I would like to thank you so much for your time. And uh, is there anything else you want to add before we uh, close off? I think I have covered everything. But anyway, some other things, uh, myths and all, because people think about the, um, uh, the side effect of allergy. Mm -hmm. But then you don't worry about because because there are some milder side effects are there. Mm -hmm. So uh, so my advice is to get the vaccine and uh, prevent from just getting uh, or maybe getting the uh, serious infection or hospitalization and death. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And thank you, folks. Uh, so, hope to see you next time as well. Good day to you.